this is an instructional video of your power bank with ups features for your wi-fi router and emergency charging of your laptop once you open the box you get two things this is the main unit power bank with ups feature this you get other thing is that is a charger which charges this unit so after getting it you will see one small green light is slightly on with low intensity when you receive it now what you have to do is you have to connect this charger at the back side it is written arrow is here back front back side then this is charger in charger is mentioned you connect the charger to this side moment you connect the charger you will get no light glowing here now you connect this ac inlet to your plug point When I connect the AC inlet to the plug point, this light becomes green, which means this system is charging. Now for the first time, charge it for eight hours. After you have charged it for eight hours, you have a switch at the back where it is mentioned zero and one. Now you press the one position. When you press the one position, this light, which was green, turns red which means now this is giving me output. Now this unit has two wires coming out. The wire on this side, the smaller wire, 12 volt is written, which means it is for 12 volt router. You might have be having 12 volt router or nine volt router or five volt router. You will get the unit based on what type of router you have. Now, once you have connected it, after eight hour charging, you press this to one position. Now you can connect your router. Now this is the router. This is where the router original adapters get connected. You take that outer. Now that is not needed. And connect this 12 volt wire, the smaller wire to this router where the adapter was connected. Once you connect it, this router starts getting power. Now you have to just leave it like this. Charger is on, switch is in position one, router is connected. So you get an uninterrupted router power supply. Even if you get a multiple power failures, this internet connection will not be interrupted. Now, suppose you get a power cut and you know your laptop battery, internal battery gives you two hours of backup. So after one hour, when the battery has gone down to let us say 50 percent then what you can do is you can do emergency charging of your laptop now normally you will be working with your laptop adapter connected here what you do is this this wire which is for the laptop it is mentioned output for the laptop this will come with a special pin which matches your laptop side you connect this to the laptop after removing your laptop at a moment you connect it it starts charging now when it is charging and there is no power you can also work in your computer so this is how you get an additional backup of about four to five hours on your computer if your computer is given two hours backup with internal battery you will get additional four hours to five hours backup with this power backup in addition to this this also gives for four to five hours backup to your router now, you can just continue working with that when there is no power. So basically you get an additional working time of four to five hours or even up to six hours, depending on your laptop type and what kind of work you're doing, how heavy is your work. Now, when the power comes in, then obviously there will be no interruption in both the system. Wire comes in, then after the power has come in, then you can take this out and just remove this laptop charging cable and just connect back your original laptop charger and you can work with your laptop charger this needs to stay don't remove this connection this is a 24 7 connection over wi-fi and for laptop when there's a power cut let us say for an hour after an hour you can connect it so your it, work doesn't interrupt now there are a few uh, tips to enhance the life of this battery tip number one is don't cover this with any book or something let it be open so that 
the proper ventilation is there number two don't spill any water we have to be careful number three point is try to connect to the laptop before the laptop battery reaches 30 percent or low like when the power goes immediately also you can connect then you know you have an additional capacity of four to five hours in this system apart from your laptop battery power which is internal so this is how you can uh, use it effectively when the power goes and your work doesn't get uninterrupted thank you so much